Hi guys. So today is the day that I'm leaving for Bali. Uh, I'm going for four to six weeks. I only have a one-way ticket. I don't have my return ticket yet. I'm, I'm still kind of leaving that up in the air. I have a little bit of time still to figure out what my what my plan's going to be on the other side. But today is the day that I am leaving my home here in Guatemala. Q Guatemala. Q Guatemala. All right. I'm leaving my home here in Guatemala, in this beautiful place where I live in Hummingbird Valley. And I'm packing my bags and getting ready to go. So thankfully I have a very, very late flight. My flight is out of Guatemala City at 2 a.m. So that means that I have the full day. Um, and I'm making good use of it. I still have a bunch of stuff that I want to need to do here. But I would say the most important thing is that you know, moments like these in life. Good morning, Kathy. Hi. Happy departure day. Thank you very much. You know, moments like these where like you're about to leave for where I'm about to leave for a trip. You know, there's all these like all these like things of like, oh, and, and my mind loves to create all the different scenarios and play them like a movie of all the things that could go wrong. Uh, all the things that could go wrong. And um I'm really presented with an opportunity to practice having trust and like practice having faith and there's this idea that you know we can c catastrophize things and worry about the future but there's also the possibility that things could go really really well in fact better than you can expect better th better than you can write better than you can imagine so uh, I have a few examples of that that have already come up when I was first imagining this trip uh, you know, it was, it's a big long trip, um, it's very, it's like a, you know, a good 40 hours of travel to get from here to there. And, uh, so I just kind of trusted my gut and stepped forward and bought the, bought the ticket that felt right. Um, I found that the cheapest way to get to Bali is to fly through Los Angeles, so I got a flight from here to Los Angeles. Los Angeles to the Philippines, where I have a 15 hour layover in the Philippines, and then, um, and then another flight to Bali. So it's it's a big it's a big journey ahead of me. And so I'm choosing to believe that it's working out better than I could imagine. And so far it has been. It turns out I was looking maybe you saw I made a post. I was looking for a ride from the airport in LA because I have a ten hour layover. That post got haterade poured all over it, which was crazy. Um, thankfully, I actually didn't see any of it because I have some wonderful gatekeepers who help moderate and, and, and keep this a safe, fun space. But in making that post, one of my very best friends in the whole world from my acting days, like 10 years ago. Is it 10 years ago? Yeah, about 10 years ago. About 8, 10 years ago reached out to me saying, hey, you're coming to LA, I'm in LA, I'm 15 minutes from the airport, I'll pick you up. So I'm gonna be spending, I'm being picked up and I'm gonna spend the day with one of my best friends in the whole world who I haven't seen in years. So I'm so excited and you're gonna get to meet her, Miss Tiffany Crosby. She is oh, one of the coolest people in the world. So I'm gonna get to see meet her son who I haven't seen since he was a little baby. He's five years old now. Um, so yeah, so she's picking me up in LA and then in the Philippines, uh, this year I started working with a VA, a virtual assistant, in the Philippines. Um, and she doesn't live in Manila, but I messaged her and I said, Hey, I'm, I'm coming to the Philippines. Like, can I take you out for lunch? And can, we, can I take you out to the spa? Like, can we hang? And she was so excited. So she's, she's flying in. She has like a one hour flight. She's flying in. We're going to hang out for the day in the Philippines. So great. And then, and then um, through, I got an Airbnb for, guess how much my Airbnb costs in Bali? I rented it for a month. Did you know on Airbnb, if you rent for a month, you can get cheaper prices? $250, actually $259 for a month. So through the Airbnb, uh, the lady, Kadek, she helped me organize a ride. So now I have Putu who's coming to pick me up in Bali at midnight when I get in and take me to my Airbnb. So, so far it's working out really well. And I still have a bunch of stuff I need to do. So actually, let me, let me show you a little bit of what's on my to-do list my to-do list. I'm still, I need to prepare my spice mix, my cacao mix. I'm getting some more cacao from Matt. I need to finish the bracelets. Let's see, I need to put, keep it some money in the envelopes. 
I've got different mummy for different things for dog food, dog vaccines. Well, I got the old folks project, uh, the, the local um, dog food feeding at the corner. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, so, oh, I did, I did make the face oil. Great, so responding Gloria, I sent the message, da, 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 da. I gotta charge my headphones, put stuff in my bag, pack bag, I have to dismantle my altar, put kitchen stuff away, here's a few things I gotta get. Okay, cool, so I'm making my little to-do list, so let's see, so I gotta work on preparing my spice mix, um, so let me show you what I got going over here. So first of all, I still have to finish the bracelet project, so this is all of the ones that are packed up. And almost ready to go. They still need to be sealed. So Gloria is coming over in an hour to just help me put in some time with this. Thankfully, my friend Bree was here yesterday, and she helped me. Um, she helped me. We, we sat together for like two hours and just like packaged all of these up with love. And then I still have these that I need to go through. So I still have these little bracelet sets that I am going to be choosing from. Actually, I have. Oh, oh yeah, and well, that's part of the surprise. The ones receiving it. Yeah, so I still have all of these different bracelet sets that I'm going to go through and open up. And I've already made them into sort of, um, some corresponding colors and patterns. And then I still have hummingbirds. So these are the nice. So I still got to do that. Still got to do that. So we'll do that, I guess, after breakfast. Mm. Laura, who's got Stella? You know, it's interesting that people keep asking this question. I keep I keep answering it. I've answered it many times. So Stella has got Stella. No, Stella is going to stay here, and my friend Saul is going to come um, stay here. He's going to sublet my apartment. So um, I'm letting him stay here for free in exchange for taking care of my house, making sure everything's fine, and watching the dogs, making sure that they have food and love, and she gets an occasional bath and, you know, just kind of holding it down. In the past, when I tried to find someone, I was trying to charge money, like, help, help me cover my rent on this place. But, um, like, when I went to the States to visit my family, uh, I couldn't find anyone. And so I just had Gloria just come here every day. But then what happened is this turned into, like, the street dog party house where all of the dogs were just hanging out here and eating the food that Gloria would come and leave. So I think it's better to have someone actually staying here so it doesn't turn it into street dog party house. So I saw I saw someone say, can get some Brie love. Um, so I saw someone say you'd like to purchase the bracelet. So unfortunately I can't at this time because I don't have enough time make them available to, to everybody. Um, over the last week, I have made them available to the High Vibe Tribe, which is the supporter group within this page. So you can see the link below. It says, join the High Vibe Tribe for perks, access, and fun. There's an example. The High Vibe Tribe gets behind the scenes mm, info and stories and things that are going on with me. It's sort of like a test group, of small, like a smaller test group, uh, where I get to try things, share things that I don't necessarily try or share immediately with the larger audience. Um, like. The bracelets. I had every intention. Let me just say, I had every intention of, of releasing these bracelets to the general audience. I just ran out of time and I couldn't do it relaxed and joyfully. And even this was took a lot of time. So, um, yeah. So did I say Brie love? Yeah. I don't, I don't know what the Jane, I don't know what Brie love is. Um, so yeah. So Megan, I saw your, your question. Um, um, what am I doing? So I'm going, I'm traveling. I'm taking my first trip in a really long time. That's not just like a visa run. Like, so I've taken trips in the past, you know, since COVID, since I arrived in Guatemala, I've taken trips, like short trips to Mexico to just get a visa run, which was like no more than a week, sometimes less. I've taken trips to visit my family, mm, like 20 days at most. But I have not like gone on a proper adventure. I have not gone like on a proper like journey because I'm like called somewhere. I sort of went places because, because like I had to go or I was called by family or, you know, but this is like my heart. This is the, this is the first journey that I'm really going because of my heart. And I'll make another video, uh, another, um, oh yeah, thanks Kathy. Uh, I'll make another video, um, 
at some point later, maybe after I arrive, about why I went to Bali. But if you have my book, Leaving America with Erica, there's a whole section where I talk about, I talk about how I travel. And like, I literally, I felt the call to Bali. There was a series of events that lined up and then it was like the door of my heart opened and it's like, okay, we're going, I, I want to go to Bali. Now's the time. I talk about it in my blog post also. So I've already talked about it and I will talk about it again, but not right now. So Megan, oh, you feel so staggy lately. Well, honey, you know, there's nothing that will shake it up like, like going on a trip and listen, like, so I also dropped the link recently. I've been talking about this, this credit card I got. So I'm putting all of my travel expenses on this credit card. And once you hit a certain threshold, then you get like 60,000 bonus miles, which a certain someone recently went to India and paid for the, and it was a free ticket because he paid for it just with bonus miles from using this card. So there are ways to do this that, that can make it like more affordable, that can make it like just more manageable, um, like $250 rent for an Airbnb, it includes a private garden, a bathtub, a kitchen. It's like centrally located in Bali in, in this town where I'm going to, right by like one of my favorite restaurants. So, hi in Minnesota. So yeah, so we gotta do this. I gotta get back to that, but I'm close. I'm close, but here's something I'm working on right now. I'm taking some of my favorite plants with me, um, just so I can make some teas, and these are just like really good to help me ground. This one's called Cap and Damiana. I'm actually about to add some lemon balm. This is really good for just kind of regulating my nervous system and kind of like calming down, you know, if I'm feeling stressed out, if I need some help to just like, yeah, just wind down and get to bed. And then burdock is, is a prebiotic. It's all of these burdock, licorice, and dandelion. These are super grounding. Here I'm taking some tea that Luke had given me. Oh, I want to give a shout out to, to Luke. Uh, he's doing, Luke is a very, very, very resourceful artist. Um, and he just launched this new thing where he's, he will write you a custom poem. So I was thinking, you know what? I want a poem. I want Luke to write me a poem. So I'm actually going to pay him for a poem. And then apparently he's going to publish all these poems in a book. Um, oh, x -teen. Christine, you were told you need to improve your root chakras. Do I have any recommendations? I was just talking with someone about this the other day. Honestly, I feel like... The stuff with my house, now I have, like, I'm building a house, all of these things, it's a manifestation of the healing work that I've done with my root chakra. So if your root chakra is, like, out of balance, you probably feel afraid of the future. You probably feel some sort of, like, unsafe, like, you don't feel safe in your body or in your home, or, like, there's, like, this sense of, like, yeah, just not feeling safe. You probably are, like, worried about money and finances. Like, there's just this sense of, like, <gasps> right? So... One of the best things we can do is balance our root chakra. So um, there are meditations you can do, which I recommend going on YouTube. Just find root chakra music or meditations. There are things you can use, like this is a carnelian. So this carnelian stone is very good for the root chakra. In fact, Tammy Clark gifted me a heart-shaped carnelian stone when she came to the retreat in December. And yesterday... I gave that stone to Gloria and asked her to pass it to Ashley to put in the root chakra of my house. So that stone is going to go in the root of my house as they're building, as they're digging the foundations while I'm gone. So other things, so uh, Christina, I was just telling you about, so these, so you want things, if you want to balance your root chakra, you really want to do things that are really grounding. So meditation, right? These burdock, liquors, dandelion, like these sorts of roots. So think of it, it's a root in the ground. Like you want to eat things that come from... Like, um, everything we eat has quality. So if you're eating a lot of like raw fruit, that's like a very like light and bright and will kind of can send you up here. But if you want to really ground in, okay, what grows under the ground? Okay. Potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots, right? So you want to really just do and eat the things that like anchor you into the ground. So that's a few things. And then otherwise I just recommend you just do some research and look it up, but Find the music, the meditations, get the crystals, get the stones, brew the tea, eat the foods right there. That's like a really great start. Start within instead of trying to like fix things on the outside. Like start here and then magically you'll just like watch things on the outside just like melt. Over time, it takes time for these things. Yeah, Christine, you're empowered. You are empowered to seek the information out and to take the action that will bring yourself into alignment. Don't wait for me to tell you what to do. I gave you some... I gave you some tips, but 
Those are just breadcrumbs. Now you follow the breadcrumbs and see where it leads you and take action. Just one small action every day. Linda, I did not see Dr. Berg's video on Dandelion, but Dandelion is an amazing ally. Let's see what else. Okay, a lemon balm is also really great for regulating the nervous system. Roots for root chakra. Yeah, Dana. Hi, Marianne. Uh, oh, uh, actually, what I need to do next is I'm doing my spice mix. So we're going to do, I'm going to roast some fennel, cumin, coriander, which I need to fill up from down below. So let's grab the coriander. Okay. Oh, I need the coriander, but I still have other spices in there. So anyway, so I'm going to keep doing this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roast some of these spices in the pan. Then I'm going to put them in the Vitamix and make a blend. So this is one I'm starting for a cacao mix. But I, I want to have my regular cooking mix because where I'm going, I have, a, um, I have a kitchen. So let me show you real quick what I'm packing. So um, <laughs> this is me doing my best to pack light. So I have... Four, uh, three pairs of yoga pants, one pair of velvet booty shorts, one more earthy, relaxed fit pants, one pajama pants, and one jean shorts. And this is like a like a very light towel, like a microfiber towel. I'm bringing two bras, a few shirts, some t-shirts. I got my You're the Breast shirt. Let's see, what else do I got? I got the I'm with Erica shirt. I got my pro uh, progress is greater than perfection shirt. Yeah, and then a few really light lightweight shirts because it's super hot in Bali right now. Got my socks and undies. I'm bringing, this is a really cool heart tonic I had made by my local herbalist with motherwort, hawthorn, rose, and calendula. I got some bee propolis, propolio, to help me stay healthy. I got some rose water spritz. I got my hair stuff. Anyways, oh, I made a little snack pack with some nuts and dates. Some nuts, macadamia, walnuts, and pumpkin seeds. I got half a bottle of shampoo. I don't need to carry a whole bottle of shampoo. I got my um, hisopos, my earbuds, cotton buds. Q-tips or Q-tips, I can't open it. Oh, and this, I got my, I made my fire cider, so I'm taking some fire cider to go. I also finally put together those oils that I made. I was gonna make a salve, but it's just like, eh, it's fine. So this is a like, calendula oil. Uh, calendula oil mixed with some rose oil, mixed with a few drops of lavender essential oil and lang lang. And then here I got my cacao ready to go. I'm actually going to be meeting up with um, Cacao Matt later today. At some point, he's going to give me a few more bricks. I um, got my little eye patch for sleeping on the plane. I got my tripod. Uh, you know, it's funny. Luke was asking me, he's like, okay, so which book, what, what's, the, what's the one book you're going to bring? Uh, what's the book you're, like, I was like, of course, what's the one book I'm going to bring? And so I went through my bookshelf this morning and I decided on this one. Return to Love, Reflections on the Principles of Course in Mirrors by Marianne Williamson. Fun fact about this book. When I was writing my book, this book held the space on my altar to hold like hold the space as my book. And I would, I would speak to this book as if it was my book, which maybe that doesn't make sense to some of you, but it makes sense to me. And then this one, you guys know that I love this little book, this pocket meditation. So it's interesting. The Way to Love, a Return to Love. So... These are all like sort of like spiritual texts about oh. how do I get all the stuff to the airport check? Well, this stuff I'm not carrying on. So, so all this stuff is going to go in one big bag. Um, I mean, this stuff I'll carry on, but I'm really mostly just carrying on the, the, uh, the bracelets and my ukulele. Where's my ukulele? I'm going to carry on my ukulele. And then the, um, yeah, the rest of this stuff is going to go... It's really not that much stuff. And then I got just one one hoodie and my jean jacket and some earrings. You gotta travel with your earrings. So yeah. So, so that's what I'm working with and I cleared off the space for Saul. He doesn't have much stuff and I just put my, my stuff there and after I gave away a lot of clothes, that's all I have left, which is nice. And I still have some stuff stored in here. 
which I'm going to put downstairs in the bodega. We've got plenty of dog food. Um, yeah, so, so I'm feeling good. I definitely see the way my mind wants to spin really fast and get really ahead of myself. But I'm taking it easy and reminding myself to smile. I'm reminding myself to be here in the moment. Oh, Jane, yeah, so the Holy Wild Cacao, thank you for posting that. So there is a secret link for a package for Erica's friend, for my friends that gets you the cacao at a discount plus a humming, or the cacao plus a hummingbird at a discount. So you can find that on the, if you go to my website, ericaderickson.com slash Erica's Faves, just go to the favorite, my, the, the, the page of my website where I recommend things. You can find the link to the cacao, this the secret link to the cacao. And I say secret because it's not listed. Like you can't go to Holy Wild Cacao and find that package. You have to have the direct link. So, so Violet and Frank are here. Violet and I had a tearful moment last night where I thanked her for doing such a great job with the pups. And she was a bit sad last night, but I think everyone's kind of acclimating and She's going to be transitioned out of here. Oh, Laura. Oof, that's tough. Um, yarrow. Doing a, a, um, a gargle with yarrow, is, it, it tightens, it kills bacteria and it tightens things up. Um, oh, you're enjoying the sun. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna get back to it, guys. I'm gonna get back to it. I still have a lot to do. I'm gonna keep working on my spice mixes and thankfully Gloria is gonna come over in about an hour, uh, no, in a half an hour, and help me uh, just kind of clean up and yeah. Yeah. How long will I be gone? Um, somewhere around a month. And it's so nice. What's so nice is that, Frank, what's so nice is that unlike past trips when I did these heart call wandering trips, I would go for these undetermined periods of times, these under, undetermined period or trajectories with these undetermined sort of like what's going to happen after, how am I going to make money, how am I going to survive, like what am I doing with my life, a lot of like existential dilemma and crisis. Like the last time I was in Bali, I wrote about this in my blog. I was going through a really hard time. I was going through a dark night of the soul. I um, I uh, was going through a really difficult breakup. I was really angry at this guy. He owed me a lot of money, like all of the men that I ended up enabling. Um, and I, yeah, I was getting sober. I was just like, all of this stuff was coming up. I was just going through this really tough time. And, all these questions about what am I doing with my future, where am I going, why am I here, all, all the things. And this time it's like, I'm here to enjoy. I make travel videos online. I'm working while I'm in Bali. I'm making content and bringing it to you guys. Like, like, like there's no, there's no big existential crisis. Like I'm going home back to Guatemala to build my house where my friends are waiting for me and my dogs are waiting for me. Like I'm going back to my apartment where like a dear friend is watching my dogs. Like, like, my charity projects are like like running set, running smoothly with the money that I left in my in, in my behind and I'm going back to continue and pick up all of the all of the pieces where I left off and the cool part is that we leave you know why we leave why we go on these journeys to follow our heart so we can come back so we can come back with new perspective and go wow wow this this I get to choose from this and like Wow, you know, so, so yeah, so I'm going to keep, keep going with this and go slowly and just remember to smile and breathe and, and slow down and, you know, yeah, it, you can come back and be like, wow, this is amazing or what, or come back and be like, wow, I'm actually ready to make some changes in my life, you know, so Aaron, yes, I'm going to Bali. I'm going to Bali tonight. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm going for a month. I got an Airbnb. I got my little motorbike all set up. I got a ride from the airport. Um, I'm super excited. It's, I haven't been there in three years. Uh, I'll tell you more about that story another time. But um, I, 
Oh, cool, nice. Fred, Fred and Katrina, welcome to the High Vibe Tribe. Yeah, we have we have a, a really, really great group. So um, welcome. If you haven't already, please make a, a post to introduce yourself to the family. Welcome to the family. We're so excited that you're here. We just want to love on you. So make a post, let us know who you are, what you're about, so we can get to know you better. And you'll see very quickly that we're like a really uplifting, supportive, positive group. And you know, if you've been thinking about joining the tribe, if you've maybe been feeling the call, but you have some fears coming up of like, oh, I don't have enough time to do this, or oh, there's this thing that makes me, they won't like me because of this thing about me, I just let it go, like, let it go, like, take the leap, like, come and join the family, because it's so good in here, there's so much love. There's so much support. There's so much just like beautiful energy swirling around and like come as you are and put in what you got. If you don't have any time, don't worry about it. Just show up every now and then when you can and like that's enough. That's it. So, and then, you know, who knows? You get, you get perks, you get access to me. Like we get to know each other better. Um, what is happening, Jane? Yeah, it's also... So that's why some people have such angry words towards me because they haven't dealt with their own existential crisis. Exactly, exactly. It's easier to project your own shit than to assimilate it and look. It's easier to be like, oh, that chick sucks. Who does she think she is? Blah, blah, blah. When it's really, it's like, maybe you're just upset that you're living out of alignment and, and, you, and you wish you could be doing what I'm doing. And instead of following my lead and, and listening to my example and taking the scary steps to be vulnerable and change some things, it's easier just to hate on me. It's called projection, projecting your shadow, projecting your fears, projecting your shit onto someone else and then hating them for it is easier. And most people do this instead of realizing it's about them. It's about you and yourself and, and your choices and what you're doing. Like, and so if, if something in me is triggering something in you, then that's just a, that's an invitation to look at yourself. But most people don't do that. They just want to like throw shit at others because it's easier. So nice. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get back to it. I got to make my mixes and just keep mm, checking items off my list here, all the things I got to do. And, uh, yeah. Whoa, hey, gatekeepers, can you get that guy, Samad? I think he's done here. Yeah, thank you. Um, thanks, Linda. Thank you for pointing that out. Alright guys, uh, thank you all so much, and I will, I'm sure I'll see you later, and nice, yeah, cool, Frank, or Frank, Fred says he's read my book and it's very insightful. So literally my book, Leaving America with Erica, How to Travel and Set Yourself Free on Amazon, I teach how I, my thought process, how I'm going through this, you know, right now I'm, I'm at that really kind of scary stage where it's like, oh god, do, do I have everything, what am I doing, where am I, ah, uh, but it's like, no. I've gotten good at this. I've done this enough times that I know that everything's going to work out. So, so yeah. So, Erin, yeah. And I am so excited to, Janice, hi, honey, receive those hugs and send them right back to you. I got your package ready to go. Um, so, I'm really looking forward to bringing you guys with me on this journey. It's kind of a vacation, but it's also not because I'm still working. Like, this is my work, like, making content. Of course, I love it, so it doesn't seem like work. Um, but I'll keep, I'll keep bringing content to you. I want to show you Bali. I want to, you know, show you, share the experience of what's it like to travel alone as a woman. You can do it. A lot of women are really scared, but I'm here to show you, no, it's possible. You can do it. Um, yeah, so, so that's happening. That's happening tonight. So the next 48 hours, you're going to, you're going to, I'm going to pop up in Los Angeles. I'm going to pop up in the Philippines and then I'm going to pop up in Bali. So I got a big journey ahead of me. So I'm going to, I'm gonna get to it preparing all of my my commodities? No, my materials? No, my my things, my things for the road. <sighs> Alright guys, thanks for being with me. I love you. And I will see you later. Yeah, Lisa, I can't wait to bring Bali to you. It's such a special place. Like this place and all the other places. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>